So how, how would it affect uh, watercolors? Would it make them run and bleed into each other or would it keep them beautiful and solid the way that you have created them? Most of my experience in watercolors is that it's not going to affect it. Okay. Uh, like I said, with even chalk art, it doesn't really affect that. I mean, you can literally wipe that off if you mm -hmm. wanted to. But if you pour it on top and encase it, it's fine. Okay. Um, we do have a product that's called 2112, which is made for sealing things prior. So if you had a canvas that wasn't sealed properly and they just painted on it, mm -hmm. um, and I can't think of the name of the stuff, but it starts with a J. But anyway, uh, they, they prime canvases with that. If it's an unprimed canvas and you've got some art on there, um, to prevent penetration through the canvas, we would paint a, a little bit of 2112. You could use that on, if you did try an area of watercolors or whatever and it did smear it a little bit first, mm -hmm. then you could certainly put a thin coat of 2112 to protect it and then go okay. straight up over the top of that. Okay, now what about fabric? How would it do? Would it absorb so much on the fabric or would I use that 2112 to seal it first and then uh, epoxy over? Because I have done cups where I put the fabric on top, mm -hmm. or I'm going to do a table that's going to be a fabric mm -hmm. piece. Either one would work fine. I don't think, okay. I guess depending on how thick it was, if you wanted to encase it right away, certainly make it easier to put the 2112 on, and that dries in 5 to 15 minutes, depending okay. on temperature and humidity. So that would be a real good primer, so to speak, before the epoxy to mm -hmm. prevent it from gassing, because epoxies, as they as they start to cure, if they're penetrating into something, it's gonna leave a void. So you can eliminate that by priming it first and not having to wait for an epoxy to set up. 2112 is absolute for that. Okay, so the 2112 that you're talking about, can I use that to base my cup and then pour glitter on top? Will that cut out the epoxy method or the Mod Podge and balance my cup out better? Yeah, you could actually broadcast into the 2112 and again, it dries very quickly. So. Um, you'd want to get it on, get your glitter on right away, and then move on to the next one. And 10, 15 minutes later, you could put the epoxy over the top of that. It works very well for that. Okay. And it's inexpensive. Amazing, yes.